Welcome to the theater tonight for Real Reactions. I'm your host, Ainsley Cromer. We'll be looking at Halloween. This one marks the 11th installment to the series, but it acts as a direct sequel to the 1978 classic. Michael Myers, the classic slasher villain, will be played by the original actor too, Nick Castle. Jamie Lee Curtis is also reprising her role as Laurie Strode, the victim and protagonist. Now, I know you're wondering where Jin is. He always gets my name wrong, and I'm not too sad that he's not here, but here's the scoop. He's a scaredy cat and super superstitious, so he couldn't come to tonight's premiere and opening. Anyways, let's see if some of our audience members are scared too. Family like turns into a nutcase this time of year. Yeah, I mean, your grandmother is Lori Strode. She was almost murdered. Wasn't it her brother who murdered all those babysitters? No. It was not her brother. That's something that people made up. Do you know that I pray every night that he would escape? What the hell did you do that for? So I can kill him. Our first victim tonight is Ben. How spooked were you on a scale of one to 10? Oh, uh, probably around, you know, at least a nine. It was great, you know. She was holding on to me the entire time. <laughs> It was, it was quite the ride. <laughs> Definitely a 10, or maybe an 11. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, how spooked were you guys? Three. Yeah, I don't know. Like a, like a two. It, was, it wasn't really scary. Maybe some uh -oh movements, but... <laughs> a comedian show. Wow, so this didn't spook you that much. Okay. <laughs> how did this movie compare to previous installments of Halloween? I mean, the original is one of my favorite Halloween movies, just across the board, just because it's the classic, you know. But um, obviously this one was very different because it's been 40 years, so I mean, things change. Um, <laughs> and um, it definitely was like scarier than the original, I think. But I think it did a good job of like tying them together, in a sense. Really like the Rob Zombie films, but uh, I think he was taking it in the wrong direction and uh, really like what they did with this one. Well, this one was more funny because the little boy that was in it, he was hilarious. <laughs> he was hilarious. But like the other ones were more like, oh, snap. Oh, yeah. But this one was just funny. Do you have any super scary moments in your life that you can think back to? I actually do. I have a scary story, actually. I used to live in a haunted house. So um, really brought me back to those days. Um, <laughs> yeah. What was a moment from living in that haunted house? Um, I remember like seeing almost this ghost figure when I was like six years old. Um, yeah, because the house was built in like the 1600s, super old. So I don't, I don't know if it was real or not. Like I hope it was. So, <laughs> and you could say you've seen a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> and would you recommend this movie to anybody else? I mean, if you want to laugh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's not scary. Yeah, I would. I mean, like, this shouldn't be a rated R movie. Should be like a PG or something. PG-13. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, great time. Would you recommend this movie to other people craving a good spook? I definitely would. It was. It definitely fulfilled my spookiness craving. Definitely. Awesome. Thank you very much. You don't believe in the boogeyman. <gasps> He's here, Michael. You should. Can you close the closet door? Obviously, Jin had nothing to be afraid of. Unless he was afraid of me <laughs> stealing the show. Well, anyways, you know who your true host is, sticking with you through every horror. So that's a wrap on tonight. Did okay, can we can we cut for a second? Sorry, there's a there's just you know a, a cutout over there that started moving, and it's of Michael My. Um. Though our reactions may be a little bit ridiculous. Seriously, can we cut right now? Um, it's getting closer. Um, and the little bit racy, the they're always real cut. I'm, I'm going to start running. <laughs>
would like to ask you a couple questions about Halloween. On a scale of one to 10, uh, how spooked were you, sir? <laughs> 